Welcome to Connell Technology Solutions. Hi, I'm Ajit, an employee of Connell Technology Solutions LLP Bangalore. I'm here to give the presentation on Keel Microvision 4 programming. Keel Microvision 4 IDE is a tool particularly used for writing up your codes and also debug them for 8 bit, 16 bit, and 32 bit microcontrollers. Now, well, let's see how to get on started with Keel Microvision 4. To start Keel Microvision 4, go over to the Start button present at the taskbar of your desktop and then over the pull-up menu that appears, go over to the Programs option and then click on Keel Microvision 4 option. You can also double click on the shortcut icon of Keel Microvision 4 present on your desktop. This is how your Keel Microvision 4 IDE's first page looks up. You can observe in the slide that uh, we have a project window on the left side and a build window on the below and uh, an editor screen. Now we'll see how to create a project. To create a project, go to the project menu and then click on new microvision project. When you click on new microvision project option, create new project dialog box appears. So here you need to create a folder of your project and then save it in your particular saving location. So as an example, we have uh, written a LED underscore toggle project folder and we have saved it in the location desktop. So to enter into your LED toggle folder, click on open button. So when you click on open button, you enter into the LED toggle folder. Here in this slide, you need to specify a file name for your project. So in the encircled area below in the file name edit box, you could observe we have written LED underscore toggle as a file name of the project. And then you need to click on save button. So after saving, the next task is to select your controller. To select your controller, we have different controller vendors as per our application needs. So in the image you could observe, we have encircled an uh, area that is NXV which is found by Felix. It is a controller vendor which gives us a list of controllers. So to see that list of controllers, click on the plus sign beside NXP and then click on OK button. So when you click on the plus sign beside NXP, it opens up a list of controllers over here as you could see here in this slide. So as an example, we have chosen up LPC1768 as our controller and then click on OK button. So when you click on OK, it opens up a dialog box indicating that copy NXP LPC 17XX startup code to project folder and add file to project. So you need to click here as yes. So after saving a project file, where do you need to write your code? To write your code, you need an editor screen. To get that editor, go over to the file menu and then select the option new which opens up an editor and you could write your code. So this is how your uh, editor window looks up like. So in the image shown, write your code here. So that is the area where you could write your code. So this is how uh, the editor screen looks like after writing up a code. So as an example, we have written a simple code for LED toggle. So after writing up your code, you need to save that file. So to save that file, go over to the file menu and then click on save as. So when you click on save as, it opens up a dialog box as save as dialog box wherein an encircled area you could observe that it's entered into LED toggle folder. So in the file name edit box, you need to give your file name with your proper extension. So we have written over here that is main.c indicating that it main is a source file. 
So for source files, you need to give the file name extension as .c and for header files, you need to give the extension as .h and then click on save button. So after that, the next step is to add your files to the project. To add your files to the project, you need to right click on the source group into the project window which opens up a pull down menu as shown in this image. So here select the option add files to group source group 1. So which opens up a dialog box as shown over here. So in this add files to group source group 1 dialog box we have chosen main C source file to be added to our project. So select the files that you want to add to your project and then click on add button. So after adding your files to the project, the next step is to compile your project, that is to build your project. So to build your project, go over to the project menu and then select the option build target. So this is how it looks after you click on the build target option. So your code will be compiled with zero errors if you have written the source code correctly. Else error messages will be displayed. So hence you need to correct them and recompile the project as you require. So these are the appropriate files which will be created after proper compilation. Now we'll see how to create hex file. To create hex files, you need to make certain configurations in Keel Macrovision 4 IDE. To do that, go over to the flash menu and then select the option configure flash tools. So when you select the option configure flash tools, it opens up a dialog box as shown over here in this slide. So here, click on the output tab and then put a tick mark to the checkbox create hex file. You need to enter the name of the executable file as per your choice. And then click on the OK button and rebuild the code again. So that's it folks. Now you know how to create and compile the project using Keel Microvision 4 IDE. To know how to debug your programs, check tutorials on uh, using Coinel Parallel Port JTAG with HJTAG software and using Coinel ARM USB JTAG with Kukox Core Link. To know how to download programs on both, check tutorials on Flash Magic. That's it folks. Thanks and bye-bye.